I so know. that's awesome dude but yeah i don't know if you want to look through this and kind of, it's kind of just a mixture of everything yeah. uh mids Dope. some good some bad Dope. some just yeah. you know Dope. just stuff i'm trying to get rid of Dope. and for the most part uh i'll definitely cool work with it, it. Yeah, yeah yeah put it anywhere i was about to say you want me to clear some space right here oh no i'll probably just do it right here it's a little bit easier for me to lay everything out and see are you yeah. gonna go to the thrift con in uh florida I don't think so, and because me moving there, I told myself I don't want to go back to for Florida. Yeah. yeah, for a minute. And the vendors in Florida aren't the same like Atlanta. Like Florida, Atlanta was so, crazy. I'm thinking about going to Florida. What would be the best thing to bring to Florida? I'm. I was thinking about not even bringing jackets. Yeah, jackets I mean, even be worth bringing. Probably not. Maybe like one small rack, but mainly just t-shirts. But if you look at Atlanta, a girl that went was complaining that it was just t-shirts. You know, so I guess it's to each his own. Yeah. But um, I was looking at the ThriftCon videos and they sold, uh, those were personals. I just don't wear hats anymore. Um, ThriftCon sold 10,000 hats or 10,000 hats, 10,000 tickets. That's, I saw that. I was like, I was like, is that true? And then like they were talking about it on that vlog and I was like, dang, 10,000 tickets. And I was all adding up like how much tickets were. I was like, yeah, that's <laughs> Yeah, they, they definitely, good. they said it was the best one uh, that they've ever done. But, yeah, it's kind of crazy that they, uh, I didn't realize that many people were into vintage that, you know. Atlanta. Yeah. I, think so. I, I was thinking of more, like, I think we sold the most streetwear out of everything. Yeah. Like, I had, like, probably two streetwear racks, and I probably left with, like, 17 pieces of streetwear. Damn, that's yeah. crazy. Was maybe because like, like one of you, you were maybe one of the only ones with streetwear because everyone else had vintage. That might, that they didn't even it, think about it, you know. That might be it. But I figured Atlanta streetwear. I mean, it kind of makes sense. Like, there's so many rappers out of Atlanta that like, yeah, I'm pretty sure streetwear is pretty. Yeah, cool. there was a lot of celebrities I think that went through that people didn't even realize, you know. Yeah, they're, they're like low key. Low key yeah, exactly. Or just wearing. I've seen people wearing like full face masks too. They you just know? don't want to. Yeah, they don't want. They don't want anyone to know. Yeah. But yeah, it was pretty cool. I mean, I, I liked it a lot. Yeah. Damn, this thing's sick. Yeah, that oh, was in my wolf. personal. It's crazy. Yeah, it's 100% wolf. Yeah, it's dope, though. Those might be a little deformed because they were in my back of the truck, but this should be good to go. I figure something out. Billie Eilish. Something. It's the Billie Eilish uh, Murakami. Murakami. Yeah. yeah. I bought, I bought a bunch of these tees for my nieces. They they love Billie Eilish. Yeah. I don't know who. I had a couple in personal when they first released. I like the design just of the Mirakami. Sick. Do you get people that come in and uh, sell, or do you mainly outsource uh, inventory yourself? We get a bunch of people that come in and sell, but it's probably just like five ten items at a, p at a time yeah there might be like four or five people that actually bring in stuff like this yeah like a whole bag worth yeah but um i try to like buy uh big shipments from like dallas or like cali or something yeah yeah there's, there's definitely like, there's enough the, wholesalers for sure there's a bunch of people um that are getting into vintage so it kind of helps out but then again you can't count on like people just walking in the door yeah no nah, definitely not a lot of people will end up stopping after a while yeah. The will will run dry eventually. <laughs> yeah. I used to go get everything myself, but I think now I just it's better off just buying a bulk of stuff from people. Yeah, at the end of the day, time is money. I see people sitting at the bins all day, and it's like you might leave with like twenty. Yeah, exactly. Thing, it's hard. Really, if you just want to sit there and hopefully get a banger every once in a while, exactly. But Today, we went to lunch red. and uh, they pulled like three 90s Harley uh, puffer starter jackets, like a Dang. bunch of stuff. Yeah, and that's it. All it only takes one bin, you know, it really does. I haven't seen this shirt in a while. Yeah, it's hard. Sick. The only one listed on eBay is for like 100 or 200 bucks. It's crazy. But it was in my personal for a minute. 
And then now I'm just kind of just wearing Harley stuff, so I just basically took anything that's not Harley and. Uh, it's just so hard to sell like the obscure tees. Yeah, like, it's people won't that's know that's what it is. Person that would want it. Yeah. But no, obviously I'm not. I'm not gonna be taxing on it like the. So you're just um, kind of road tripping all the way to, to Colorado? Stop yeah, exactly. Months. I've been on the road for two months now. I've been spending like a week in each city. Uh, oh, nice. Spent eight days in Chattanooga, five days in Nashville, um, four days in Huntsville, Alabama, um, a week in Atlanta for when I was at ThriftCon. Mm. Um, just bouncing all over the place. But now I realize I'm not going to, like now that I'm hitting Colorado so soon, I'm not going to stop. Like I'm going to go up to Wyoming or Montana uh the dakotas i'm just gonna keep traveling and making content that's dope bro i'm gonna try to do like uh cooking and like uh camping content you know oh, nice yeah i've seen a lot of um camping uh urban camping stuff on yeah YouTube. truck camping and all that I, I built a platform in my uh truck uh with a full mattress and everything so mm -hmm. i literally just camp out of that that's dope yeah, I saw. I was watching videos actually last night of like urban camping and like people were, like teaching people how to. It's crazy the views that get on it. Yeah, it's crazy. So that's a a band shirt. I have to look up the name again. I don't. It's not like a really known banner, at least to my eyes. It's not. Looks very Grateful Dead ish. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought it so was, I was at first. For something, but I was like, I don't, I don't think it's Grateful Dead. Hold on, I'll tell you right now. Yeah. Widespread panic. Widespread panic. Yeah. No idea of. They're like a 34, 36. I got them for myself, but they were too big. 34, 36. What size are you? 32. 32? Yeah. 32 as well. Yeah. These are, uh, this is, I bought them together with the pink kit. And then these are the 30, these actually fit me out of them. That's really dope. Yeah, all I wear is uh, camo pants. I have like maybe 30 pairs, all different kinds. And then my tops wise, it's all Harley Davidson now. I probably have like, probably like two pairs of camo pants. Yeah. Size 11 men's. Yeah, they're crazy. They're all woven. They were like the Lux. I think retail on them was like 150. They were like the premium ones. Yeah, I've never even seen these. These are cool. Of yeah. course, they're my size. What size are you? I'm a ten and a half. Oh, so okay. You might fit. Yeah, eleven. Uh, do you have cash up? Yeah, I do. Cool. Yeah, that works. Um, I'm gonna pull that out. I can scan it and make it look good. What is this? That's a crazy sweater. Oh, yeah, Patagonia. I think it's Figured. Two thousand one. Yeah. Pretty sure. Yeah, I have an orange Harley one that looks like that. Forty-two. You can also type this in. Let me see. Oh, what is that? Uh, money sign. Money sign. E M C. E M C. Photo. P H O T O. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So huge shout out to uh, them. They're taking out all of this stuff, which clears out all the space that I bought from the past couple days at the bins from the Carhartts and stuff. So basically, just swapping inventory for personals. And then came back for this Oklahoma, which you guys probably saw in a ThriftCon video towards the end. Crazy shirt.